Well, this is going to be a costly, lengthy process, but help has arrived for the closed Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay. Construction crews began today installing the temporary support structure. Now, that structure is designed to keep the workers safe and to prevent the bridge from sagging any farther. Eric Peterson has more in this Fox 11 follow up. Heavy equipment was on the move Monday morning under the Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay. The Department of Transportation says Lunda Construction out of Black River Falls has been contracted to do the work. What we're going to be doing is drilling for the supports for the piles, if you will, for the temporary towers that are going to go up. What we have to do is start from below the ground and work our way up. DOT plans call for two truss towers to sit 55 feet from Pier 22 on each side. Lateral support will also be installed at the top of Pier 22, as well as Piers 21, 23, and 25. Highway officials say corrosion was found near those piers, but 22 was the most severe. When we put the towers up, that's going to prevent the bridge from sagging further and putting more weight on Pier 22 that has settled. The DOT says as part of their investigation, soil samples need to be taken from each of the 51 piers that make up the Leo Frigo Bridge. That includes those over the Fox River. The timeline is that we're going to bring in a barge, and that's going to be on, we believe, Wednesday, and we'll be doing that on Wednesday and Thursday. We're out there finishing up our on-site investigation, but remember, we still have to do analysis of the material that we've, we've uh, gotten. The DOT says the cost of the stabilization project is estimated at $1.57 million. Emergency federal highway dollars will pay for the work, Construction on the support structure could take several weeks. In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. DOT officials say the bridge is still closed and it will be at least three weeks until an announcement is made about when exactly it's expected to be open again.